we all have some things about ourselves that we are not completely happy or satisfied with right it is completely natural to sometimes doubt the choices we have made regret the things we have said or want to improve ourselves in some area it shows that we are trying to make some good changes in our lives Hey guys, welcome back to It's a Journey podcast. I'm your host Parvati and this is my podcast which comes out every Sunday as you know that. And you're listening to the episode Insecurities. So buckle up because the podcast starts now. I honestly miss those days, the time when we really didn't care about anything, did not worry about how we looked. did not matter if we had acted weird in front of people we only cried when we scraped our knee had lots and lots of friends our only responsibility was to complete homework and go to bed at 8 ah uh, those days life was quite simple and pretty right but as soon as we start stepping into teenage things change a lot we begin caring about everything now we are self conscious Every small thing matters. Have a lot of reasons to cry. Friend circle getting smaller and smaller every day. Have ton shit of responsibilities and we don't even realize that how fast these things take place. Along with hormonal changes in body, teenage brings a lot of other things with it. It's like a full package and one of them is insecurity. No matter how successful, smart, famous and beautiful you become, everyone has insecurities from body image to friendship issues can make us feel lonesome or forlorn we all have different insecurities some are insecure about their body some are insecure about their skin flaws and getting judged by and many more and we all are trying our best to get rid of them somewhere i feel like social media is becoming a platform for insecurity because we start comparing our lives with what we see on social media well if you remember in the 8th episode which was on body shaming i mentioned this thing very clearly that social media tv and magazines plays an important role in messing up with people's brain it constantly talks about ideal beauty and stuff like that which makes people self conscious though we all know that they are showing something fake we are not ready to accept it we feel like what we see on tv is always right but that's not true there are signs of insecurities that we don't realize but somewhere it's affecting our lives a lot first being jealous when people are insecure they have a tendency of getting jealous or one up others it's i mean it's really difficult for them to be happy for other success they don't realize that they are doing something wrong they don't feel the same it's they feel like it's all a competition and they have to come first of course life is a competition we all agree with that but it's a competition with ourselves not with others we have to practice gratitude and appreciate other people's achievements the same way we appreciate our own and that's where the change comes avoiding commitment that's the second point whether it's commitment to your work or your relationship insecure people always prefer avoiding these commitments i don't know what they are afraid of which messes up a perfectly balanced life third point pleasing others insecure people feel the need to please others always seek validation from others and they feel like other people's happiness is far more important than anything else they put others first in their place but there's a whole lot difference between being kind and overextending yourself and fourth always on social media we people are so much active on social media god we update it like i don't know what to compare it with but we are literally crazy behind it we are 24 into 7 on social media and this lockdown thing has you know made us even more crazier because right from what you're doing in the morning to what you're going to do in the evening what you're updating your social media with everything in the morning 
I had Dalgona coffee in the evening. I'm going there and there. No, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yes, we people are so much concerned about that. How many likes we are getting, if my crush is watching my story or not. You know those um, pre-planned stories and right after they watch it, we just delete it. I know I shouldn't have brought it up, but it's true. Why don't we accept it? We all do that. I know it's it's something uh I don't know what to say about it, but it's something we all do. But somewhere we seek validation from others on social media also. We keep on posting things, we expect other people to like us. we expect other people to like our photos and whatever we upload it's something um we are not proud of but we still do it i know i don't know why we do it but we still do it <laughs> so these were the signs of an insecure person we all have some things about ourselves that we are not completely happy or satisfied with right it is completely natural to sometimes doubt the choices we have made regret the things we have said or want to improve ourselves in some area it shows that we are trying to make some good changes in our lives it's a you know good step toward achieving what you want in your life being insecure about something is natural but living with it is really not that easy as it seems we teens hear a lot from people saying that you should be confident you should you should not doubt yourself but somewhere it's really difficult implying those things in your life it takes a lot of time and hard work i'm not going to say those things because i know it's not that easy i have my own insecurities too and it's really difficult for me to cope up with them it's a slow and gradual process of accepting them but they shouldn't become a barrier between you and your dreams right somewhere we all need someone to talk to someone with whom we can share everything that's going on in our mind try talk to your friend try talk to your parents or counselor in your school if possible if they pick up the call i don't know they must be on break and please don't hesitate to contact me if you ever feel like talking to someone without any hesitation you can dm me on instagram my podcast exists for this purpose to help other teens like me I know what you people go through because I am going through those things also not trying to become like I know everything I don't know everything I'm not going to say that I know everything and I have read about everything honestly I have not but as a teen as a friend of yours I can put some solutions in front of you if that might help you I'm more than happy If it if my podcast is helping just to one teen, I am more than happy because the main purpose of starting this podcast is to help teens as much as I can because I know it's not easy to deal with the things we are dealing with. It takes you know a lot of strength. Yes, I'm going to use this word, a lot of strength. We're twenty four into seven. We have so much pressure around us. pressure from society pressure from our parents the peer pressure everything and we are still holding it up so just you know be proud of yourself and bravely fight with all the things that are going to come in future i hope this episode was a bit helpful i would say but i've poured all my content all the things that was in my heart in front of you if you like this episode then please share it with your friends and family or whoever need to hear this about insecurities we all face it so meet you all for the next episode on next sunday till then have a good day use your time productively um i guess we have still one month left with us and after that maybe everything will be you know kind of normal not totally normal but yeah to some extent so have a good day and bye bye